Hello there guys! For today's video, I'm going to show you how to make big head effect in Photoshop. And also we will dive deeper into using fill for extending our background layer, using pen tool for creating selections, using transformation command, warp, and applying U and saturation for creating shadows. So let's get started! So here in our document, I prepare here a basketball player, and our goal here is to make his head big and the first step we're gonna do here is we're going to extend our background so to do that going on to the layers panel select on that background layer then we're going to unlock it by clicking this one all right and then going on to the toolbar find the crop tool okay so from this crop tool i'm going to click and drag this one up to create an extension so there you are and then hit enter Okay, and then we're going to select this image by just pressing Control and click on the thumbnail layer of that layer. Now, once we already have that selection, let's let's invert the selection by pressing Control Shift plus I. So there you are. Now this part is already selected. Now going on to the now going on to the menu bar, go to Edit and then find Content Aware Fill. Okay. So in this part, I'm going to remove the selection here so that it won't be copied. Okay, this one. And also this one's here under. Okay, and now once it's all said and done, hit apply and hit OK. There we go. All right, so let's press Control plus D to deselect. There you go. We just extend the image. Now the next step we're going to do here is we're going to create a selection on our subject's head and by the way if you find this video helpful so far please consider subscribing to help youtube algorithm show my videos to other nerds like us well going back so for making a selection from our subject's head we're gonna make use of a pen tool so going on to the toolbar find the pen tool it shows this symbol or just press p for the shortcut key and then let's zoom this one in for us to create a detailed selection so let's press p again and let's start creating paths around our subject's head now once we already created the path around our subject's head now right click on it and then choose make selection from the make selection dialog box feather radius set that to one pixels and then hit ok all right now it turned already in, into selection now the next step here is we're going to create a duplicate layer of this this selected Part. So by pressing Control plus J, there you are. We already created this one, okay. And then let's let's zoom it something like this. And then from the layer one, I'm going to press Control plus T to bring out the transformation command. And then from this transformation command, I'm going. I mean, I'll start increasing the size by just click and dragging these points out, okay. Put on the size that you want for our subject. Something like this. And let's rotate it a bit. All right, there you go. And then with this transformation command, right click on it and then choose warp. Okay, so for us to fix the areas that we want to align and match. All right, I think that's already aligned the head from the neck. Okay, and then hit enter. Okay, now we already created a big head over here, but now next up here is we're going to add shadows under his chin. So to do that, let's bring this one's head layer. With this head layer selected, press Ctrl plus J to create a duplicate layer of that, and then click and drag it under the head layer. And then with this head copy layer selected, let's go to the adjustment layer icon, and then choose U and saturation. From the properties, may click on this clip icon, all right? So that the effect will only be on that head copy layer right and then from the lightness i'm just going to bring this one to negative 100 okay so what do you have here we already have this kind of effect here from this head and then from this use saturation layer press control and then also click on the head copy layer right click on it and choose merge layers and let's name this layer as our shadow and then let's bring back the head layer now from this shadow layer selected, press Ctrl plus T for the transformation command. And then let's press arrow down key to bring the shadow down. All right, and then hit enter. 
So from this shadow layer, let's adjust the opacity into the amount of 40%. Okay, then hit enter. Okay, and also from that shadow layer, let's go to the menu bar, go to filter, then go to blur and find Gaussian blur. Okay, so we're going to add a blur here with the amount of 3.5. Okay, now that's looking good. 3.5 pixels is okay. Then hit okay. And then from the shadow layer, there are unwanted shadows on this area. So to remove that with this shadow layer selected, let's go and add a layer mask. Click on this icon here and then get your brush tool or B for the shortcut key. For the options on top, I'm going to set the opacity into 100% and the flow of 100%. For the brush, I set that into soft round brush. For the foreground, make sure it's black. And now we may now start removing the excess shadows on this part. All right, that's looking good. Now let's zoom this one in. And there we go. Now let me show you the before and after. So this one is the before. And this one is the after. And that is how to make big head effect in Photoshop.